بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر نکھت نعیم فرام دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف بائک مسٹری ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا کلیسٹرول سنتھس ٹرانسپورٹ اینڈ ایکسکریشن دس از مائی فرسٹ آن لائن لیکچر ان دس لیکچر آئی ول جسٹ ایکسپلین یو اباؤٹ دا کلیسٹرول سنتھس In the second lecture, I will explain you how the synthesis of cholesterol is regulated. And in my third lecture, inshallah, I will explain you about its excretion in the form of uh, bile acids. So, uh, let's go, uh, move on. This is the um, little bit introduction of the cholesterol. Cholesterol uh, is the... Um, very important structural component of cell membrane and it is precursor of many important compounds in our body bile acids steroid hormones and uh, vitamin d okay and uh, there are many organs in our body which are capable of synthesizing the cholesterol uh, for example Um, our uh, uh, reproductive organs like ovaries, testes, placenta, uh, liver in, is another organ, intestine, adrenal cortex, reproductive tissues. However, liver in all of these organs, liver plays a central role in regulating the body's cholesterol homeostasis. You are seeing in the diagram here uh, that um, the liver is um, uh, uh, in this diagram uh, there are uh, shown that there are three routes by which liver is um, getting the cholesterol by dietary cholesterol from uh, the sorry by the dietary cholesterol from the extra hepatic tissues like HDL and by the de novo synthesis. So this all makes the liver cholesterol pool. And these three uh, routes are the um, ways by which the cholesterol is eliminating from the liver, either in the uh, free cholesterol form by secretion uh, of the cholesterol into the VRDL and conversion to the bile acids so uh, now uh, if we talk about its uh, pathological uh, role cholesterol if it is deposited in the blood vessels it can cause the atherosclerosis which can uh, further lead to the cardio cerebral and peripheral vascular diseases This is the structure of cholesterol. Uh, you are already aware of its structure. In the first year you have studied it. This is the, um, um, it is uh, the structure of uh, cholesterol which is 27 carbon compound. Cholesterol is 27 carbon compound. Okay. Uh, and at the 17th number carbon it contains the four rings. And uh, at third number carbon. of carbon there is the hydroxyl group attached and uh, the hydrocarbon tail about 8 to 10 8 to 10 here there are 8 carbon uh, hydrocarbon tail is attached at 17th number carbon okay so this is the structure of cholesterol ester cholesterol ester means uh, the fatty acid is attached at uh, third number of the carbon and uh, this attachment of fatty acid uh, to the um, cholesterol it makes the cholesterol more hydrophobic most plasma cholesterol is in the esterified form but this esterified cholesterol ester is rarely present in the cell membrane beta cytosterol they are the plant Uh, sterol and cholesterol is animal sterol as you already know about the cholesterol this is the animal sterol 
okay now move on to the next slide cholesterol uh, it well, as i have told you before that there are the many organs which uh, mm, are contributing in the body's cholesterol pool they are the liver intestine adrenal cortex and reproductive tissues acha if we talk about the transport of the cholesterol they are the uh, first of all ldl low density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein uh, they are it is the vehicle that supplies the cholesterol and cholesterol ester to many tissues so it is providing the cholesterol to many tissues ldl is the vehicle or ldl is the lipoprotein which uh, supplies the cholesterol to the many tissues now come to the hdl high density lipoprotein it is removing cholesterol from the tissues and transported it to the liver uh, when it is eliminated from the body either unchanged or after conversion to bile acids this is called the reverse cholesterol metabolism uh, reverse cholesterol transport so you will also study in detail about the reverse cholesterol um, transport in the next chapter also okay these are the few main uh, points which must be known uh, before going into the formation of cholesterol um, all the carbon atoms present in the cholesterol they are provided by the acetate or acetyl coa this is a two carbon compound reducing equivalents they are needed for the production of cholesterol and these reducing equivalents are provided by the nadph the process of cholesterol synthesis is endergonic endergonic means the energy is needed in order to complete the pathway in order to complete the formation of cholesterol and this energy is provided by the hydrolysis of thioester bond of acetyl coa and atp enzymes uh for the formation of cholesterol they are located in the sorry enzymes for the formation of cholesterol they are located in the cytosol uh, cytosol membrane of smooth endoplasmic reticulum and peroxisomes okay so come to the synthesis of cholesterol cholesterol uh, synthesis it is a very lengthy pathway so we divided um, this pathway into five major steps this is the first step um, in which the two acetyl coa they are converted into the mevalonate so the first step is the formation of or the synthesis of mevalonate from acetyl coa starting from two acetyl coa starting from two acetyl coa uh, the two acetyl coa they combine or they condense to form aceto acetyl coa okay and the enzyme is thiolase next another molecule of acetyl coa it condense with acetyl coa and there is the formation of hmg coa this is six carbon compound okay two acetyl coa we started from the two acetyl coa and then another two carbon of the acetyl coa uh, in the combined form we get six carbon compound and this is the hmg coa here the enzyme is hmg coa synthase these two reactions are similar which uh, you studied in the production of ketone bodies but the difference is that the enzymes are also same thiolase and uh, hmg coa synthase but the difference is that uh, this hmg coa 
uh, synthase enzyme it has the two isozymes if the cytosolic enzyme participate in the pathway it will be the cholesterol synthesis and if uh, the mitochondrial enzyme uh, if the mitochondrial enzyme functions in the uh, metabolism so uh, this will be the pathway for the ketone body uh, formation of ketone bodies okay this is this uh, from the hmg coa it's a six carbon compound which i showed you in the previous slide from the hmg coa there is the formation of mevalonate it is very important step because this is the regulatory step and uh, it's it is uh, a cytosolic reaction and uh, the uh, enzymes they are intrinsic membrane protein of the endoplasmic reticulum enzyme is the hmg coa reductase this is the regulatory enzyme and uh, this is actually uh, the site of action for the most um, effective class of cholesterol lowering drug cholesterol lowering drug for example uh, you are seeing here the statins statins um, uh, and the example uh, written here is the simva statin others uh, statin drugs are also uh, um, available in the market for example atrova statin prava statin this is the site of action of statin drugs statin drugs are the cholesterol lowering drug also um, this Uh, pathway can also be inhibited by the mevalonate by the bile acids and cholesterol which are the end products of this pathway um, i will also uh, explain the regulation of uh, uh, cholesterol synthesis uh, in detail in the next lecture so from the mevalonate so this was the first step in the synthesis of cholesterol which is the biosynthesis of mevalonate now move on to the uh, next slide and this is the second step formation of isoprenoid sorry formation of isoprenoid uh, Uh, formation of isoprenoid units isoprenoid here means the uh, isopentenyl diphosphate isopentenyl diphosphate this is the isopentenyl uh, diphosphate sorry i am trying to get the pointer here okay so sorry Uh, so this is the isopentenyl diphosphate formation of isopentenyl diphosphate or isoprenoid unit this is the second step and in this you are seeing that uh, kinases are involved atp is uh, hydrolyzed in three steps and here the um, carbon dioxide is removed and we get from the mevalonate six carbon compound after three kinases and one decarboxylase uh, we get the isopentenyl diphosphate which is five carbon compound from the isopentenyl diphosphate from the isopentenyl diphosphate uh, the next step is the formation of squalene formation of squalene from isopentenyl diphosphate isopentenyl diphosphate i have told you that this is the five uh, carbon compound the first step here is the isomerization 
isomerization by the enzyme isomerase the and there is the formation of dimethylyl diphosphate okay so these two compounds isopentenyl diphosphate and its isomer they condense to form a 10 carbon compound this is the uh, geranyl diphosphate and uh, the enzyme is transferase here the pyrophosphate is also release pyrophosphate um, um, release of pyrophosphate means that this reaction is unidirectional and uh, this pyrophosphate will further uh, hydrolyze into the inorganic phosphate and the energy will be released and it will make the reaction irreversible now we get here we are at the geranyl diphosphate this is the 10 carbon compound again this 10 and this 5 carbon from the isopentenyl diphosphate combines to form phenyl diphosphate phenyl diphosphate is 15 carbon compound okay geranyl plus isopentenyl 10 plus 5 and we get the phenyl diphosphate and again this phenyl diphosphate uh, this is the uh, uh, i have told you before that this is this is the 15 carbon compound now the 2 15 carbon compound 215 carbon compound they condense to form a 30 carbon compound squalene this is the squalene and it is the 30 carbon compound which is obtained by the two molecules of phenyl diphosphate here the nadph we Uh, the reducing equivalents they are provided by the nadph and the enzyme is squalene synthetase okay this was the third step formation of squalene now move on to the next step fourth step this is the formation of lenosterol 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 okay i okay yes lenosterol from squalene how it is obtained the first of all the squalene is folded there is the folding of actually the structure which will closely uh, resemble resemble the uh, steroid nucleus and uh, there is the formation of Uh, squalene epoxide by the enzyme squalene ap oxidase right and then from the squalene ap oxidase there is the formation of uh, lenosterol lenosterol and here you are seeing that from the squalene ap oxide Uh, see at the carbon number 14 there is the methyl group at the carbon number 14 which is transferred to the carbon number 13 and the methyl group at the carbon number 8 it is transferred to the carbon number 14 okay and here we get the lenosterol and the enzyme is the uh, cyclase enzyme okay from the uh, lenosterol then in the third step there is the formation of cholesterol this is the final step final step from the lenosterol formation of cholesterol fifth step in the formation of cholesterol here what happens uh, 
there are the few changes in the steroid nucleus and the side G. See that uh, there are the methyl group at the carbon number 14 and the carbon number 4. They are removed and we get the first uh, 14 desmethyl lenosterol okay, by the removal of a methyl group at carbon number 14 and then by the removal of uh, methyl group at carbon number 4 uh, we get the zymosterol so uh, from the zymosterol here also the double bond is removed you see here the double bond in this double bond it is isomerized and uh, the double bond at carbon number 8 and 9 it is subsequently moved to uh, between the carbon number between the carbon number 5 and 6 so what happens uh, the double bond is moved from carbon number 8 9 to carbon number 5 stick um, 5 6 this is the carbon number 5 6 finally this uh, we get the uh, structure this is the cholesterol um, and here you are seeing that uh, there is again um, involvement of a drug this is the triperanol triperanol is also a synthetic cholesterol lowering drug but uh, this is not used in practice because uh, it was um, withdrawn due to its side effect so this was the all about uh, my first lecture which was on the cholesterol synthesis so in the next lecture i will inshallah explain you about how this pathway is regulated its regulation is at the uh, level of HMG CoA reductase enzyme uh, as I have told you before HMG CoA reductase so how it is regulated I will explain you in my next lecture so up to this uh, best of luck and Allah Hafiz